speaking of nappies, I did accidentally make another order. <laughs> so you guys know I use reusable nappies for Aurora. Um, I did for Mila, but not, not like strictly let's say and I have been very strict using them with Aurora the only times that she's ever had disposable nappies on is when we've traveled and we haven't had access to a washing machine because obviously we need to wash them and if we can't wash them we have to make another op option I don't like it because both times that we've used disposable nappies both times she's got a nappy rash not a bad one I remember Mila used to get them super bad and they looked really sore and Aurora's not like that so she obviously doesn't have as sensitive skin but she has had like, I felt like I needed a bit of pseudo cream. So I love it when we get back home, I can have all the fresh nappies and have them all back on her. Um, I used new ones with Aurora than I did Mila. With Mila it was mainly all in ones or pocket nappies. And with Aurora, I've used fitted nappies and I have loved them. They've been my absolute favourite. We've never had leaks. They last 12 hours at night and I've just found them the best. They're the ones that I always go for. I always use those ones up and I'll always use like the pocket ones if I've got none left to clean. So I wanted to order some more and the reason I wanted to order more was because the ones I bought are not birth to potty. Um, is, it, is that right? Birth to potty training? They were newborn ones and they do still fit perfectly. Like there's, they're probably going to fit for another maybe six months even, but I know they won't fit until, I doubt they're going to fit until potty training. So I've ordered some more in size one and they've just arrived today. I've ordered some from this company and then I ordered Totspots ones, which are my favourite. Totspots are definitely my favourite ones, but they've gone out of, they've gone out of business and they're not trading anymore, which makes me so sad. But they did have like, must be like leftover stock from other um franchises is that the right word so other stores sold their stock so i managed to get some from another store not too many but a few but another brand that i did like was little lamb so if you don't know what a fitted nappy is it's basically this that's so blooming cute big fluffy fitted cozy comfy soft nappies all in one basically. So you pop this on and then you pop a little wrap over the top. Um, and I've ordered 10 in this size, which is size one, and then six of the wraps because you can you reuse the nappy. You don't have to put a fresh wrap on every single time you use a fresh nappy. But I usually do because I often tend to find that the wraps like damp and I don't like to put damp wrap back on it, even though the wrap doesn't touch her skin. Anyway, good morning, iPhone. There's a little nappy update for you guys. <laughs> a bit random, but there you go. They just arrived, so I was really excited. I'm going to go and put them in the wash. You tend to wash them a couple of times before you use them. It makes them more absorbent. I'm going to wash these a couple of times and then pop them away in her drawers. So just very quickly, because I know probably 90% of you guys are watching this vlog really don't care about reusable nappies, but basically this is what I mean. This is the ones that I love. The all in one, it's basically the whole nappy, and then it comes with like an insert inside that's attached, and you basically just snuggle that on your baby. Obviously, that's not waterproof, so then you just put a nice waterproof wrap over the top. This is probably about half of the amount of these that I've got, and then these ones are the pocket insert ones. These are from Baba and Boo, which is my second fit. Well, no, I probably like these just as much. They have like this bit on the inside that like really snugs up to your baby's legs. So it's like a double protection. And that's why I really like the Baba and Boo. So basically you just get one or two of these depending on how much your baby wears and pop them in the pocket. And that's why they're called, obviously, pocket inserts. And that's those ones. And then the all-in-ones are basically like this, but this is attached here. So it kind of comes out, but is attached at the end there, and you just fold it in. Um, but yeah, I've washed them. I've, these are brand new. I've not actually used these on Aurora yet because they are quite big. I don't know if you can tell. They don't look... Let me see. It depends on the angle that I'm holding them, but you can't tell the huge difference, but you can definitely tell on this shot here. They are definitely... A bigger nappy but now that she's growing it makes me so so well it makes me happy she's growing and she's getting a big girl but these are the newborn ones the pocket ones are mainly what I used with Mila I've got I can't lie I didn't love using reusable nappies I did love it it feels different with Aurora I don't know why it feels really natural now and really easy 
Whereas it felt quite difficult getting to, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it's because it was just my first time trying them out and at first it's a little bit daunting or if it's because Mila was a lot older. Obviously she was, like how old was Mila when I first started to choose? I can't remember, was she like a year old? She might have even been one just because she had the spiker cast on. Yeah, she was in fact. I thought she was six months, she wasn't. She got the spiker on at six months. I think she was one. So obviously things are a lot different when they're a year old and they're eating solids and things. But right now with Aurora, I'm blooming loving it. Absolutely loving it. Right, today is a home day. And the plan is to continue with this playroom. We did a little bit of this the other day. Um, I can't remember if I vlogged it or not, but we did start organising in here the other day. I want to really simplify it. I want to take out a load of toys. I don't not like them having a lot of toys because I do like being able to rotate the toys. Um, but I don't like having a lot of toys all in one go, if that makes sense. I feel like it's just nice to have a few and then they tend to play with them better. Also, one thing in this playroom that just drives me absolutely nuts, and I'm sure I've asked this on here before, every set that we've ever bought the children is mixed up and lost. When I say lost, I don't mean lost. It's obviously in this playroom, but like jigsaws have like one piece missing and it's in a box over there or the Pete, Melissa and Doug pizza and ice cream, Melissa and Doug pizza and sandwich bar, there's like bits of cheese over there and cabbage over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's bits to everything, to all of the, no set is out and complete. And I really need to get a grip on it because it drives me absolutely, it seems to be, it seems to be only me that's bothered about it. Everyone else is like, so it's not a big deal. It is a big deal to me though. And I don't know why, but I feel like sets need to be out and complete. So today is Operation Playroom. Operation, get this sorted out, simplify it, get all the sets back complete and back together so that it's actually enjoyable to come and play in here because at the minute I avoid it. And the reason I avoid it is because it stresses me out too much. So this is the progress in the playroom from the other day. We didn't do much, I'm not gonna lie. What, sweetheart? What? You playing with your cars? I banned you from playing in here, didn't I? Whilst I sort it out. Because as I'm cleaning this side, she's completely messing up the other side. Anyway, Mama. what darling? Mama. You want to smell her? Yeah. Why? Mama. She smells like a baby. Yeah. She smells nice. Can we take Aurora's teethers off your wrist, please? One, two. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, if you watched previously, um, Christmas time, I spoke about these dolls from Argos and how I bought me the twins. Are so heavy? It's so heavy, isn't she? Yeah. I bought the twins yeah. and the Christmas doll. Yeah. And I said that I wasn't... Yeah, Mama. Okay, okay. Wow, yeah, she's so heavy. Yeah, she I is. carry her with this, okay? You carry her over your shoulder? Yeah. Is it easier like that? I was saying that I wasn't sure if I was going to give her them because the twins, because they felt quite and heavy. It and I didn't know if they'd be too heavy for her to carry <laughs> Mila. And as you can see, they definitely are. And I'd also bought two of these, the baby Annabelle ones, the little ones. So I bought the blue Alexander one and the pink one. And she definitely plays with these. So if anyone's got a little one, two years old and below, yeah, yeah, and you're thinking about buying the tiny treasures, Woo! just bear in mind, yeah. You got a headband? Yeah. Just bear in mind, they are really quite heavy dolls to carry around. I think they're more be suited for age four plus, basically. Age four plus, I'd say. Um, but the baby Annabelle little baby ones are a great size and they're very light as well. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Yeah. Of course. Okay, guys, it's got to get worse before it gets better, right? I've had the whole thing out on here. Of this basically I'm gonna try a new strategy what I did have was in these here I had like one large box um, you know the canvas ones you guys know what I mean it took up the whole thing and then a load of toys were inside it I'm scrapping that idea because what happens is everything just gets dumped into it basically so instead I'm going for these here yeah well I gathered I gathered they'd be able to see what's inside each one. I'm going to fit four of these. These are like £1.50 or one ninety nine from Home Bargains. But they fit quite a lot in them. Like, there's absolutely loads of cars in there. Okay, so I'll definitely fit four of these. 
on each one and I gather that if there's those there they'll be able to just get one play with it hopefully put them back and put them back it's just more manageable and because they'll be able to see what's inside rather than pulling out a huge box and then digging in and to get to the bottom they're throwing all the other toys on the floor I just feel like these ones will work a lot better unsure about the games they're just staying there for now and then I've just removed all of the activities and things from the top here and I'm just gonna keep it super simple <laughs> down <laughs> I wish that took us because it took with the time lapse you have got a rock he's going to pass them back to Isabel there Isabel's one tree down only a few more to go and I don't think that's going to be today yay you're so clever this one there yeah and this one there yeah are you clever yeah I think you have the club and then the club is going away a bit. There we go. You can both have one. Which colour do you want, Jace? Um, red. Like you go. last time. Me looking of yellow. Go I like the big ones. all the beads on. I like the big ones. I know you do, but I don't know where the big ones are right now, so we've got to play with the little ones. Look at cute penguin. Yay! Can you do another one? Me Maybe this game is a bit silly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit silly. Oh, careful. Mum, I don't just swing it around because when you swing it around, the thing comes off straight away and Ooh. it bangs. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, a crocodile there. I can see a penguin and a crocodile. Oh, okay. well, where's a crocodile? Oh, Mum. That doesn't belong in there, does it? That's Chase. Um, we can do the baby crocodile and I'll do the big dinosaur. Oh, I, I just got a dinosaur! <laughs> Oops! Hi everyone, so me and Isla are just in my room. We're chilling. Our... We had a sleepover last night and we're having a run tonight, aren't we? Yeah, we're FaceTiming our bestie boo. <laughs> we're playing. Um, we're playing uh, Touch Tennis, whatever it's called, Touch Tennis. We're playing Roblox. <gasps> I'm really bad at it. You I feel see. like Roblox is. Like, I haven't like actually properly played Roblox I for months. Roblox in so long because. Oh my gosh, stop! I'm so bad at this! I played the game so much that I just got bored of them all. Can yeah, everyone yeah. else relate? <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. But, um, yeah, we're just chilling. I, whoa, that was way too zoomed in. But I made some really nice cheesy nachos and I really want some more. Yeah, we made cheesy nachos and avocado it and it's just so, so good. good. Also, guys, I'm kind of sad because today I'm taking my... It looks a bit messy because I whacked it. But I'm taking my tree down today. Normally, like, after Christmas, I feel, like, sad that Christmas is over. But this year, I feel like not sad. Like, I feel excited almost. Yeah. Because like I just know this year's just so the best, hard. gonna be amazing. So yeah, I'm kind of like excited, but I am taking my tree down today. I'm also gonna be deep prepping my room because I've really <laughs> don't laugh at me. Um, I've grown out my room and my style. It's just it's not me anymore, and I just don't I don't I love my room to bits, and I'm so grateful to have it. But I've grown out of like the decorations. They they like I don't like them very much. So what I'm gonna do is deep prepping my room because. I used to be like the biggest preppy in the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's just not me anymore. So today I'm just gonna rip my vines off my walls. No joke, I'm literally just gonna rip them off my walls. Um, and it's gonna look really plain. Mila. Where's that little Ted? I think. <laughs> where's she gone? Oh my gosh, I know where she is. Sorry, Isla. Where's she gone? Is it no. Esme! Where's she gone? One of the girls are in the shower. I think that's Isabel. No, it's not. It's Esme. Esme is in the shower, actually. Yeah. So where is Mila? Is Mila in here with you? Where's she gone? Come on, Jace. No, because have I actually lost my child in the house? Mila! Mila? <gasps> oh, you! Naughty! Mila, I need to wash my hands! You, oh. you don't wash your hands with daddy's shaving cream, Mila! That's not what we wash hands with! Oh, you're a tiny, tiny. Oh, 
said, okay, well, we need to put your sleeves up because I've only just put those pajamas on you 10 minutes ago. We're not changing them again. Oh my goodness, Mila. You will be the life of me. That's not the right saying. But I can't remember what. Wash my hands. I'm going to pull your chair over. There we go. I did. There we go. There we go. Oh, right. I get him. I get him. You want to get your gnashes brushed? No. Yep. Oh. Yeah. You ready to see this? One second, darling. Ready him? I'm good. There we go. Mama first, okay? No, Mama no, first. No, Mama first. Mama. Why do we have this argument every night? Yeah. Mama first, then Mila. Okay? Yeah. Should we let Jace have this one? No. No! Right, open your little mouth, you Ted. <laughs> you run your batteries out. Goodness yeah. me, Mila. Yeah. <laughs> Some nice fluffy PJs. They're not new, you bean. Actually, they are quite new. You've not worn them once for a long time. Oh, there, no. Isabel's. You two stop swinging on there and let go of these because these are Isabel's. Mila wants to read this book. Okay. How does the book start? A kitten. To sleep. Yeah, book. It's a book. It's a book. Oh, so cute. Cute. A fire, a fire, a Aurora. A baby Aurora. Yeah. A gentle. Oh. A wow. goat. Little wax. <gasps> a little goat wax. <gasps> wow. And then what happened? And get a little. And get a little. Snuggly pajamas on, and the whales. The whales. The, the, the whales. Ooh. Well, guess what? On the story, the whale saves the, the snail. <gasps> the whale saved the snail. <gasps> As she gazed and sniffled, sniffed and sighed, the sea is deep and the world is wide. Are you tired? Yeah. Do you just ask to go to sleep? She went, I want to go to sleep now, Mama. Not the same can be said for Jace. Oh, here we go. 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 Here we <laughs> they are, they are, they're amazing, aren't they? Oh, they are so they amazing. Stop. They never stop. I am so ready for my bed right now, but I've got about an hour of doing this <laughs> whilst we watch Fool Me Once. Oh, Do you so think good. that means there's going to be a Fool Me Twice? Probably not, but it's very, very good. So I, hope, I hope there is. Is there a song like that? <laughs> uh... I feel like there's a song about that Fool Me Twice. I don't know where that town come from. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, sweetheart? That's not your favourite one, is it? This one is. Look. Watch this, guys. Ready? Oh, blob, blob, blob. Get it. Woo, Cliff again. Oh. Look at her face. And with that, we are going to say goodnight. Thank you all so, so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. <laughs> Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.